Greetings! Thank you for tuning in to our channel. This is Smile Presents Storytime. We are very excited that you've decided to join us today. So just sit back, relax, and let's get ready to read. Steve Goes to Carnival by Joshua Button and Robin Wells. It is Saturday afternoon at the zoo in Rio. The jaguars pace in their enclosure. The elephant stretches out her trunk for an ice cream cone. The howler monkeys hoot and chatter. And the sloths sway slowly from side to side. In the evening, Antonio, the zookeeper, feeds the animals. The anteater flicks up ants with his long, sticky tongue. The elephant trumpets greedily, and the old lion licks his lips. Antonio loves all the animals in the zoo, but he loves Steve most of all, and Steve loves Antonio. Hello, my friend, cries Antonio. He sets down a bucket of bamboo shoots and his little yellow radio. Steve switches the radio on and turns up the volume. Antonio and Steve love all kinds of music, but they love jazz most of all. They sit back and listen to the sound of a saxophone drifting up into the night sky. After Antonio has left, Steve feels the quiet of the night. He lifts the latch of the cage door and out it swings. Steve clambers up and over the zoo wall to look for Antonio. At the tram stop outside the zoo, Steve finds a, a wide-brimmed hat. It is the perfect disguise. Steve waves down a tram and clambers aboard. The old yellow tram shudders down the hillside. Past the favelas and into the city. Steve tumbles out of the tram and onto the crowded street. Fireworks soar into the sky. It is carnival time in Rio. Dancers in sparkling sequins and feather headdresses shimmy along the avenue. The air shakes with the thud of bass drums, the rattle of tambourines, the hunk of trombones, and the shrill of the samba whistles. Feliz Carnival, the Sambistas cry out to Steve. Feliz Carnival, cries Steve as he heads off to look for Antonio. He wins his way through street stalls selling black bean soup. coconut sweets, and chocolate bonbons. Suddenly, Steve stops and listens. Above the noise of carnival, he hears the hoop, 
and holler of a saxophone coming from a jazz club across the street. The doorman at the Blue Jaguar Jazz Club smiles at Steve. Entre, senor, he says as he waves Steve inside. Steve pauses to greet the elegant hostess, and then he hurries across the room. A jazz quartet is playing. The piano tinkles and the double bass pounds, the saxophone wails, and the singer hums and trails. The saxophonist tips his hat at Steve. Antonio, cries Steve. Aha, my friend, replies Antonio, you found me. At that moment, a beautiful dancer with a zigzag hair steps onto the dance floor. Antonio swings his saxophone high into the air and the band plays. Steve bows and takes the dancer by the hand they twist and twirl across the dance floor. Around and around and around they go. Whoosh! Steve's hat flies off his head. Opa Carilla! cries the elegant hostess. But the beautiful dancer does not blink an eye. She picks up Steve's hat and takes him by the hand. Antonio blows a long slivery note that floats through the jazz club, around and around, spin the dancers, twisting and turning, reeling and whirling into the night. The music rises high above the jazz club, over the carnival city. And into a new day. The end. Thank you again for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed the story. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget to share it with your friends because there's plenty of others who would like to read stories with us. Don't forget, reading is fundamental. You are wonderful. You're awesome. You're amazing. You're intelligent. You are great. Don't forget it. We'll see you next time.